Finally, 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 I can present you a really, really great artist. I have waited a while to get him on my um, on my channel, but he is in my shell shop in my shell-shocked radio show and he's also in my Spotify playlist. I will show you later because I want to, I mean, you read uh, most likely the, um, you know, <laughs> the description already so you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the great, great Lomac, of course. He is a really, really cool musician, so I'm really happy to have him here in my Steckbrief profile segment. Uh, I have played him lots of times before in my Shellshock radio show and also in my Spotify playlist. And yeah, just listen to his song and you know, his songs, he has a lot of songs out um, and you will know why, because he's really, really great. And um, he starts his uh, reply to my, to my questionnaire, as you see here, this is already in my liked songs. Um, and also he is in my uh, playlist. Yes, of course, he's in my Shellshock Radio playlist. Um, yeah, where he belongs to. Uh, uh, he says, thank you, but I say thank you to you, Mr. Dear Lomac, because, uh, I mean, you know, without you and your cool music, I wouldn't have, uh, you know, things for my Shellshock Radio show and for my Spotify playlist. So thanks a lot for your cool music. Um, and I'm going to just uh, say it out, uh, right, right out. If you want to send me something, there's a link in the description where you can send me cool music. If you make music like Mr. Low Mac. And also, um, before we start, um, like and subscribe. And now he will <laughs> say thank you to me. But you're very, very welcome. I mean, I really thank you for your cool music. And then we get into the Steck, Steckbrief of Deutsch uh, on the profile section um, from this talk. Enjoy. First of all, thank you so much, my friend, uh, for inviting me. I, it's a real pleasure to be here. And thank you so much for all your support through, throughout the, this time, because we know each other for, for a while now, virtually, not, uh, not uh, in person, because we never met in person. But uh, thank you so much for, um, for all your support. Thank you. So for the first question. My dear Mr. Lomac, I'm so happy to have you. Can you please introduce yourself to the audience who might have not heard you? It's impossible, but it's possible that some someone somewhere might have not heard you. Uh, uh, introduce yourself, please, and uh, uh, who you are and what kind of music you do. Thank you very much. So for the first question, let's see. <clears throat> So my name is Lomac. I make electronic music more situated in the mid-tempo genre. Uh, mid-tempo, it's, it's, it's a kind of electronic music genre which is situ situated in the, the, in the middle of the tempo range, which is the 100 BPMs. I tend to go to more dark uh, inspiration and aggressive inspiration in the electronic. But I also bring a lot of uh, influence from the from metal music, and a lot of uh, other genres as well, so, such as uh, ambient music, and uh, even pop music. Well, I bring a lot of um, a lot of influence uh, into my music. But the genre, the genre that I that I play mostly is mid tempo. Your artist name, Mr. Lomek, how did you came? Uh, how did you come up with it, and what was your inspiration behind it? Please let us know. So, for my artist name, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there's not a big story behind it. Uh, this name was picked on, uh, picked up on the on 2018 when I started the project. At the time, it was exclusively pop music, so at the time I didn't pay much attention to concepts uh, of uh, art concepts or whatever. So I picked something that um, it was good visually. I thought, I still think, <laughs> and. Uh, 
and um, when you say it, it's it's easy to say it. That that was for me it was important at the time. That is, um, there was a name that anybody from around the world could say the name the name Lomax. So it was a junction of two 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 words that I thought it would, it would look cool, and that was it. And when I changed to the to the music I make nowadays, I decided not to change the name because I like the name so. That's it, but there's not a big story behind it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Which bands and artists are your inspiration? Go for the other question. So the bands that, are, that I'm inspired by. Um, there's one that has always been with me since I, uh, since I remember to play music which is Deftones. Uh, you can see the, um, the flag behind the, the monitors. So yeah, that's my biggest influence, Deftones. Um, if you just listen probably one track of, of my work, you will not see much, to, of, 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 you will not hear much of them. But uh, if you take a bit of time to listen to my whole work, you'll see a lot of influence in them. Of course, it's electronic music, Deftones is a metal band, it will never sound the same. But when it comes to to the vibe of the music, uh, the, the ambient part, the ambient part uh, there's a lot of influence from them. So it's a band that uh, when it comes to their uh, ambient as a band uh, and their concept as a band, it was something that always, always influenced me. So the the biggest influ influence as as a band it, it's as a band no from a band it's Deftones. Uh, when it comes to electronic music, um, well, like I told, like I said before, I go for more the um, the dark uh, the the dark electronic music or aggressive. I I really like Rez, for example. Rez was my biggest influence that I that for me in this genre that I make nowadays. But I also I was also very influenced by Gazafelstein, and uh, and then all, a lot of other electronic uh, bands such as uh, Prodigy. Prodigy, it's 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 it really is a band. Uh, Bloody Beat Roots as well. So that's it. But I don't listen much to electronic music to be honest. It's um, uh, even to not be influenced too much. Of things to, to, of my of my genre, I try to to keep uh, to keep it uh, healthy. The my 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 comp my music um, writing, so tr I try to avoid to make something that that is very very similar to other things. Um, I did it at more at the beginning, and I when I go for when I go for um, to listen to to electronic. Uh, artists or whatever, I try to go for the technical parts, okay? For example, if I'm not getting um, a kick right or a snare right or a bass or whatever, I tend to go to 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 listen to some electronic music to figure it out how to do it properly because I'm still kind of new to the electronic world, so I still, of course, have a lot to learn. So I tend more to go listen to the electronic music more to learn than to be inspired. Yeah, that's the same. How did you start your musical career? Was there any special awakening moment or something that kind of started the whole thing? So when did I start my music um, career? Let's let's put it that way. Uh, well, was like uh, a lot of. Um, a lot of people in this world. We, I gathered some. I gathered some friends. We, we were friends in a in a small village in Portugal. So we had not much to do. We were kids, and we all loved music. And uh, we just decided, why don't we make a band? And that was it. And everybody picked their their own instrument. I at the time I picked guitar, and actually the guitar stayed with me forever, since I started the band. So. That was it. I started the um, I started the the music thing um, as a guitar player of a band, a band that I that we kept for almost ten years, and then uh, it came to an end. And that's what it gave space to start the um, the Lomac project. 
Are you performing live? Um, if yes, alone or with other musicians? If I'm performing live. So at the moment, I didn't perform live with the stuff that I have nowadays. I'm planning on doing it. On doing it. Uh, it was supposed to happen last year, but due to personal issues, I wasn't able to. Um, but I'm planning on playing this year, uh, probably by the end of the year, in my in my country, Portugal, uh, and I hope I can also play in a, in another place in another places like the, the the country where I'm living in Spain. I hope I go there to Germany. Let's hope so. Hope so. But um, it's it's something that I I want to take uh, naturally. You know, I don't want to force anything when it comes to play live. Because I also had bad experiences as a as a DJ, and I want to pick the um, the venue which I think is right, or uh, with the kind right of artists. Uh, the the venue, of course, of course, uh, uh, has to be aware that my music it's it's <clears throat> it's it's something weird at times, you know, and it doesn't work in a, in every place. So I'm not I'm trying to take that very organically and very naturally, not trying to force it too much. When the, the opportunity comes, I will go. But uh, I have so much fun making music, so it's not my priority number one to play live. But I really want to do it this year, and let's hope uh, let's hope that happens. Fingers crossed. If I'm planning to play this uh, live or live together or uh, alone, so the plan is to play alone. Uh, playing along with with the with with the guitar, not DJing because this project started as a, as a DJ, but I plan to to play it uh, live with an instrument such as the guitar. I also intend to to add some some pads, but um, but for now it's just um, a guitar and uh, to play this with the this music with the band. Or with more people, it might happen in the future. I will never say no because I I know it will sound good uh, with the band. I, I know I'll have to try, but I have a feeling that it will it would sound good. So I'm open to the idea, but not for now. It's really not a plan. I don't have nothing planned in that uh, in that regard. So I will keep it alone for now. Which current bands and artists are you listening to right now? So, which current bands artists do you listen to right now? So uh, nowadays you're gonna probably gonna make fun of me or some people, but I, but I, <laughs> I'm kidding. There's nothing to make fun of it, but some people find it funny sometimes. Uh, but I listen to a lot of country music, like uh, with bands such as Bl um, Blackberry Smoke. And I'll I also love to listen to Chris Stapleton and uh, the Osborne Osborne brothers. A lot of um, American country music. I really like it. Um, so I'm I'm into that vibe nowadays. And, and it's also good because it doesn't uh, it doesn't impact my my music creation. You know because it's something so completely different. So I try to keep it that way. Um, but of course i always listen to a lot of metal bands uh, and one band that has been stuck with me for for some time it's spirit box i really really like that band so it's when it comes to the metal part yeah it's it's got to be a spirit box and uh, electronically the last uh, album of kazafelstein which is awesome i really like to to listen to it too Can we see you live in the upcoming year? So uh, the other question, if you're going to see me live the, the upcoming year, well, like I said in the previous uh, um, question, I plan to play live. Okay, I plan, I really plan to play this year and uh, if not this year, next year. But like I said, I'm not um, trying to, to, to rush it. It happens when it happens. But um, maybe maybe this year I think it's gonna happen. Like I told you, in my own country in Portugal, that's where I have uh, something planned because I released the, an album, an album called Le Noir, uh, in the in September last year. 
that's when I released the album and was it was with the Portuguese label so um, they, they, that label also organizes um, shows with with their bands so I might play a show some shows with with their bands uh, it's nothing confirmed yet I cannot confirm nothing yet but it, it's in the works we're, we're planning we're trying to make it uh, to make it happen but no pressure like I said if it happens it happens cool if it doesn't we keep going like like what i'm doing what i'm doing is to make music put it out there that's my goal number one what happens after happens after it has to come naturally like i said that's my my goal number one <laughs> so with whom would you like to share the stage if you could freely choose dead or alive doesn't matter who would you like to be on the same stage or you know being uh, the opener for please let us know with whom would you like to share the stage with um um so like i said my favorite band is deftones so i would love to play with deftones live for sure because uh, also i think my music will will get along with the with their stuff but probably that's not never gonna happen but i would love to 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 play with them or or any metal band to be honest because the new metal scene that is, that is going on they 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 also mix a lot of uh, electronic music so I, that would be cool to any metal band to 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 mix my 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 stuff with the metal band that that would be cool and i hope uh, that that happens one day and i hope that i have that experience one day but um But yeah, don't think that much. I don't think much, uh, much about it. Uh, to how to make uh, collaborations or whatever. Uh, even the collaborations that I have, they all came naturally. It was nothing forced. Um, so I hope it happens with a metal band and uh, with Deftones. Would that would be beautiful? <laughs> But uh, let's keep the, the expectations low because probably that's never gonna happen, right? But. Uh, Uh, but yeah, if you ask me as a dream, that would be my dream it, to play with uh, Deftones. Was there any uh, memorable occurrence, anything funny happening while you were on stage or on the road, uh, on tour, you know, uh, on, on the road to a gig or something? Um, something you want to share with the audience? So the most memorable, memorable moment. Well... When I was when I had the band, we had we had a lot of funny stuff to that happened that happened with us. Um, so many stories. I can be I can be here all day just telling you stories about about funny stuff that happened to us. Um, but uh, as Lomac, one of my memorable moments was to play uh, in 2018. I won. Um, I won. A, I, I, I got second place on a on a DJ producer contest and I got to play in the biggest um, electronic music festival in Portugal which is called RFM Somni in Portuguese RFM Somni uh, and it was it was beautiful it was an experience uh, it was surreal to play in, in such a stage and to play with along with um, in the same A stage as such big artists like uh, electronic artists like uh, Alan Walker, the guy from the Fade Music, uh, Steve Angelo from Swedish House Mafia. So that was an amazing experience. I get to talk with Alan Walker, which was which was really really cool, really nice guy. I get to talk with him a bit, and um, yeah, that was my most the 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 most memorable thing. And it was it really was. Um, And the release of my album too. It was it was a dream come true to be honest. I never we never when I had the band and we never had the chance to edit um, uh, an EP or an album. So to get to do that finally, it was it was a, a dream come true. It really was. So that was memorable as well when I released my my album. Yeah. But that was it. But funny stories in as low Mac. It's been a very lonely. How can I say a very lonely environment? So it's more, uh, it, it's it, it's also different, right? I'm I'm more in a I'm I, I'm more old. I am older now, at this point. So we take I take music in a different way, right? 
Uh, so when I when I was younger, it was more for fun. Uh, we we all we always took it seriously, me and my band. But it was different it, when you play music with with the band. It's always a, a more fun environment. You also, of course, you also have um, the other part. Uh, th there can be more um, more fights or discussions or whatever because you you're sharing a project with more people. But uh, ultimately, it's it's it ends up being more fun, right? With the with the band. So you have more more funny moments when when uh, when I was in the band, but um, when it comes to 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 the low mag project, I still didn't have time enough to to collect more more memories because I'm just uh, focused on creating music. Just that's my goal number one. But I hope I collect a lot of memories when I start really play live for real, and uh, we I come back here to tell you some some stories okay <laughs> what can we expect um, music wise or and or video wise um, in the year ahead please let us know so what can we expect in terms of musical and video content um, for the following year or, or even this year um, well to be honest um, I take things very, very naturally and very organically um, because I was very cerebral um, before when I started this project and even with with the band or whatever. And um, I, throughout the years, I learned that for me, okay, it doesn't have to be for everyone, but for me, what it works best is to to take things slow and take things naturally. So I don't make very uh, i don't make great plans for for a lot of things my my plan is always to make the best the best that i can th that i can that i can make that's my goal number one is to make when i go to the computer to try to or when i go to my guitar to try to make the best music that i can with all of my uh, my threshold right because i i'm still learning so I have limitations, but uh, I try to do my best. That's that's my goal. Is always to keep doing my best. You know, when it comes to video wise or or music wise, video is more complicated because I'm more focused in the music. You know, like I with the video, I try to make the best that I can. But to be honest, my focus goes totally to the music. That's my goal number one with the music. With the video, I try to make something that looks cool that goes along with the music but that's not my my goal number one is to make um uh, to make um a lot of videos uh or or ex or spend a lot of time or or money on uh, on videos because it's also something that i've learned with the um, with the years that for me the most important is to keep your project uh, healthy and um and not uh, and, and and to not spend too much because if you spend too much you can put your also your project at risk if you're not if you don't measure your your expenses and, and so for me <clears throat> i gotta keep it healthy and something stable that i can do it that i can uh every time that i that i want i i can release stuff so i i i learned that with uh, with mistakes from the past because i i will release the music and i'll spend tons of money on a music video and uh, and you can forget what comes next right so you gotta keep it you gotta keep it simple you gotta keep it um, you gotta keep it really and you gotta keep it honest with yourself right I'm not a big star I can go and spend 3,000 euros on, <laughs> on a huge video right and not having money for nothing else after right so uh, I gotta keep it. Uh, I gotta keep humble with my with my feet on the ground and do it things step by step. To be honest, so what can you expect from me? Is, is yeah, it's that. It's to give my best and and to and to keep um, to keep doing things with uh, with like I've been doing with honesty and trying to do something that uh, it feels real for me. It feels that that I'm not trying to play any character. I'm just being myself. And that's what I want to to keep doing it. I don't know if I'll someday I'll change 
the genre uh, or I'll change the or I'll stop making like electronic music I don't know <clears throat> all I know is that for me the best way to do this, to do this is to be honest and to keep you real <clears throat> and to do it step by step gradually that's how I keep myself healthy um, so what comes after I don't know um, that's it I just try my best uh, keep being honest, keep being coherent with my art, and uh, what comes after comes after. It has to come naturally. That's that's my philosophy <laughs> nowadays. It has to come naturally, organically, and uh, don't get lost because the music industry and the music scene can make you <clears throat> can make you get lost a bit sometimes. You know, uh, because uh, it involves exposure or whatever. So. Keep it real, keep it simple. That's my philosophy. Yeah. And that's it, my friend. I'm sorry if I talked too much in a bit of the questions, but that was it. I hope you like it. And thank you. Thank you very much for your invitation to be on your show. I really appreciate it.